could see myself maybe actually trying, or no, I mean, I'm still going to try either way, but just in case, um, I actually see myself getting a job, maybe working, I don't know if it's state, some nonprofit as a therapist, sexual crisis, victim specialist, something like that. I don't want to work with children necessarily. God, no. Um, and then maybe, if I'm lucky, have like a small, something of my own on the side. Doing some kind of research, trying to make a mentoring book. Um, uh, working with different nonprofits to try to get people to work together on this instead of separate because there's not enough. There's not, I don't think too many profits, nonprofits have enough knowledge of how to help. How do you mean in, in what particular area? Are we talking demographically or are we talking about the subject? Um, in exactly what I just spoke upon, like just I don't think they get in depth with the emotional scars that we have to deal with and the confusion and how society and everything and and how to train ourselves again to not do what we don't want to do. But I mean, it, that's just the saying in life too. You know, you got to do things you don't want to do. Yeah, I mean, putting yeah. out the garbage is something you don't want to do. That's a lot different than something that doesn't damage you though. It doesn't leave but it scars. But it doesn't matter. That's how we think. Yeah, you know, you have makes... to find a way to. It's like the Stockholm. You know, you have to find a way to deal, and you do. So you use all these little simple things that you learned growing up. To serve, them. To serve different needs in different areas. Sometimes you gotta do things you don't want to do. Simple as that. Simple. Okay. But the, some of the things you've done that you didn't want to do really scarred you. Is that what you're saying, or am I getting a read? Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's just given me a, a tainted way of tainted view. Like you know, I mean, I used to say that. I was shades of gray, like I wasn't black and white like some people, but now I'm really shades of gray. <laughs> I'm all sorts of shades of pink and purple, you know, like it's not just gray anymore. It's all shades. It's almost like I'll accept anything and put up with almost anything. Why? Because you just have for so long. It's just like, eh, what am I going to do about it? What am I going to do? <laughs> so I, I guess you have to learn like, what you can control, you, d you do. But then, you know, like in, a in NA, you learn. There's always like a, you know, a, what, what's the word for it? Like, um, it, you know, like you could say you're not going to do things you don't want to do, but you do them anyway. And then, I forgot what I was going to say. We'll just edit that out. I had a purpose, though. <laughs> But anyway, so then I see myself doing that. And then thirdly, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, probably. That's all professionally, though. Look, what about relationships? Were you, like... Honestly, at that point, I, I can't even... I can't even think about a relationship right now. That's not even... That's not even in the equation. But you're in relationships. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't really that's foresee a con, it. That's a con, pretty good. Con. I don't really foresee it lasting with either of them. So could find somebody new. I could. I could be lucky enough. Would you be able to deal with it? I mean, would you be able to? See, that's uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I can. I don't know if they can. All depends if that right person comes along. Sometimes it's just timing. Right now isn't the right time. Do you ever wonder about if you, if you know five years down the line you do meet the right guy and he's you know healthy and normal and good for you? What you're gonna tell him? Well, if he's normal and healthy, then anything that I do tell him will be accepted. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay great way to look at it. You got that figured out, because that's true. Yeah. 
I mean, I guess just do it like I've always done. Listen, something happened to me. <laughs> I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> you know, just, just come out and say it. I mean, that's all you can do. I think a lot of the girls that I talk to, too, like if I'm nervous before a lecture or something, I call them and say, you know, you said that this is worth talking about. Do I do it? And they just tell me, just do it, because I'll just do it. And that's like the same mentality you do right before you go into a room. Just do it. Just do it. Just go out there and talk. Just go out there and lecture. Just do it. So how do you bring it to a loved one? Just do it. Just say it. Just put it on the table. There's no good way to do it, really. Do you, when you talk about it publicly, do you, how does it, does it help at all? Or? It does. Um, I don't like, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Um, because I can, especially like in colleges and stuff, because I can relate to them because I've been there. There are a lot of girls that haven't been there. You know, I just got caught up in something terrible. And um, it's just like being at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, freak accident or whatever. And um, that's just the way it can happen. But I can relate to them. And like I see their faces and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you don't think it can happen to you. But it can't. <laughs> you know? And I'm thinking like, what, you have like $500 left on your credit card, you know? You want to party it up for the weekend. You're probably not far off from how things started with a lot of girls and with myself. You run out of money, you want to have fun for the weekend, you want to go out, you want to do things, you don't want to be stuck in your room, you can't discipline yourself enough. And you go out and you use some guy to get what you want. And in turn, they take you out for the weekend. It, it, it starts so harmlessly. It's just like drinking or drugging. It's an addiction. 